Have you ever wondered what is going on when light reflects off the surface of a lake? Why rotating a smartphone in front of certain sunglasses causes the screen to go almost completely dark? When we look at beautiful or mundane scenes like these, science is usually the last thing on our minds. But this phenomenon can actually be explained by the same concept that makes 3D glasses work. Or sunglasses. All of these things happen because of one scientific process. Polarization of light. Polarization of light exists in countless man-made applications and natural phenomena. Scientists have learned how to take advantage of this idea and apply it in new areas. It can even be used to advance space exploration, with new technology that can help us discover new planets. But before we dive into how we can use light polarization to explore our universe, let's learn what light polarization even is. This is a diagram of light being polarized. Light travels in waves just like how water moves through waves in the ocean. These light waves oscillate perpendicular to the direction they travel. As you can see in the picture, the yellow wave is oscillating in the vertical direction, while the blue wave is oscillating in the horizontal direction, perpendicular to the yellow wave. This light, which oscillates in multiple directions, is unpolarized. However, when light passes through a vertical light filter called a polarizer, only the vertical waves are able to pass through. After passing through the polarizer, the light is only made up of waves that oscillate in one direction, which means that the light is now polarized. Think of a polarizer like a fence. If the fence poles are vertical, and you try to pass some sticks through the fence, the sticks must go through in a vertical direction. If you hold the stick sideways in the horizontal direction, it doesn't make it through the fence. Light waves work like sticks. Vertical waves will pass through, and horizontal waves will not. Since some of the light beam has been blocked by the polarizer, the new polarized light has different properties compared to the original light beam, such as a lower intensity or brightness. In this photo, lenses in the sunglasses work as polarizers. You can see that the light that has passed through the lenses is darker because it's polarized. Light that is not in line with the polarizers gets blocked. We all learn in elementary school that the planets in our solar system, like Earth, Mars, or Jupiter for example, orbit around the sun in concentric circles at different distances. At this very moment, the Earth is following this pattern. However, there are planets that orbit stars other than the sun called exoplanets. These exoplanets are difficult to detect with telescopes because the star they orbit produces a very strong glare, which makes them nearly undetectable. An example of a system that consists of exoplanets is the Kepler-11 system. One of the ways that astrophysicists have been able to detect exoplanets is through the use of light polarization. The light from an exoplanet's star is intense, but when this light interacts with the exoplanet's atmosphere, the light becomes polarized. A planet's atmosphere contains debris, gases, and other matter that interact with the starlight. During this interaction, the starlight becomes polarized. Astronomers can detect the polarized light through the strong glare of the star, which lets them know that there is a planet there. If the starlight does not interact with any atmospheric matter, it will stay unpolarized, telling astronomers that there are no exoplanets present. Scientists are now able to classify the polarization of the starlight to determine what kinds of matter are present in an exoplanet's atmosphere. The presence of certain molecules, like water, opens the door for the possibility that an exoplanet may contain life. The use of light polarization has given astronomers a new tool to discover exoplanets that they would have never been able to find otherwise. While there are already over 4,300 confirmed exoplanets of all shapes and sizes, there are many, many more to be discovered. And while we may not be able to travel to these planets to search for life, the possibility will only drive us to explore further. If you found this video informative, feel free to share it. Thanks for watching.